let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. Uh, Rhode Island is a tremendous team, and uh, you know I, I thought that I thought that you know getting down early really didn't bother us nearly as much as as uh, as you might sus suspect. I thought we were very poised and composed, and then when we got down 65-60 with about three and a half to go, I thought again we were poised and composed. You know, it's easy easier to do that with a great backcourt like we have for me. Um, but that's a that's a great win, and uh, this is a great team that we played against tonight. An NCAA tournament team, you know, top 15 in the RPI. So uh, to to win on the road against such a good team is is uh, is great for us. We shot we shot the ball so well. You know, D David makes some from so far out um, that you question. You know, when it's a new person seeing it, you question like, how, how's he? How does he even take that shot? But he, he's such a good shooter, and you know, I'll, I'll be honest. I, Coming into the last two games, I thought we were a much better shooting team than we had shown. Obviously, we're not this good of a shooting team, uh, but maybe that's the law of averages. To, to shoot nine for 13 on the road is, you know, is 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 crazy, and that that's what it's going to take to beat a team like Rhode Island at home. I know I notice we're making a lot of shots, you know, but I'm not. I don't get the sheet every four minutes or whatever, like like a lot of coaches. Um, yeah, that, that's true. I think what we remark in the in the first half against Temple, 77 percent. So. We're capable of it. That's a good thing. You don't want to rely on that because you know you're shooting. You know you're going to miss shots. It's going to it's going to let you down a little bit. And I, I thought one thing. I thought that if we could if we could not uh, turn the ball over against the pressure, that we would be able to get some things that we wanted to get. As it, strategically, as good as they are at stealing the ball and blocking shots, their defensive field goal percentage is is, is probably their their for them their weakest stat. So I thought if we could get in and run our offense, I thought we'd ha we could have some success. Yes, you know, we, we've had a lot of games like that. And I, I think, yeah, we're, we're pretty good at transition defense. It's something we emphasize, something we work on. When we're going to play a game like this, it's the first thing we work on is our transition defense. You know, score or not score, uh, we have a drill that we do that, to make sure we get back. And so um, I thought that was good, and, and that really helps because then I'll, even with a pressing team, you'd expect them to, even when we turned it over, it was like dead ball turnovers. So we were able to kind of maintain our composure uh, and to maintain our defensive substance without them just, you know, dunking and getting fast break points. I, you know, there are certainly some principles we take. I think we probably take um, uh, principles like sharing the ball, uh, spreading the floor, those hard cuts. Uh, but I don't think, you know, we don't take as much time maybe as, as, as people think Princeton teams do. Um, so I, I think we took all the principles and then maybe X's and O's, it's half and half. Is that a matchup zone? I can't tell you. No, yes, yeah, that's, yeah. It's a matchup zone and we've had a lot of success with it. We're able to, you know, we've been able to be a really good defensive team. And one thing is, you know, a lot of times we have such interchangeable parts out there, so it, it really, um, makes it difficult to get for the other team to get edges because, you know, they're going up against a 6'4 fast guy to another 6'4 fast guy, you know. I, you know, of course, I think it's a great win for the league. <laughs> um, but I, I think that, uh, I, I think it, it does it does a lot for us. You know, I think Rhode Island's in the tournament. Um, it, their RPI isn't going to fall that far because we have a good one too. And um, Dayton has really emerged now. I think they won big tonight against Charlotte. I think it says that we're we're, we're one of the very best conferences in the country and deserving of of uh, six teams. Really, the six bits can come out of this conference. Well, I think so. You know, and I'm you know I'm not the most veteran coach you know in the in the building right now, but I, I would think that just. You know why not? Every, we, everybody has out of league wins. Everybody has um, has kind of held on to their uh, in, in the league. You know, I mean, every, everybody's done what they're what, what's necessary to do. So I, I think so. If it went in, I would have argued too. <laughs> and I thought I, I thought it was a two. I'll tell you what. I think that uh, you know I, I think the kid James is a great player. To make that pass in that situation with that poise was was an incredible play. I mean, just an incredible, incredible play. I was worried because it was Catherine and he's such a good player and um, boy again we didn't give up too many open shots and that would have been a rough one to lose on so well w w the main thing was that Ryan Butler is our best defensive player and he was fouled out and so he's rare, you know when we when they have the inbounds plays he's um, the best guy at guarding the inbounder and making sure no slips occur and I was where I was upset that he was fouled out <laughs> then the other thing that threw my mind is when they inbounded the ball with six seconds left early in the half 
they threw it all the way to the other foul line, a guy dribbled in and scored. So I was worried that there was enough time that they, they could get a good shot. I think they were going to just try to get the best shot. You know, I think against us, for the most part, it's, you know, it's hard to dictate exactly what you want to get. Um, so I think they were going to go for the best shot. And again, that guy, James, that was about as poised as a player as I, I, can, I can imagine anybody making. I, I think we can improve on, like, um, okay, we got to the foul line five times. So as well as we shot, if... If you go to the foul line four times in that stretch, you know, then at least you've scored and you've kind of, um, you know, you've kind of uh, held off a little bit the run that they're having. I think that would be the main thing, our consistency and maybe getting to the line. You know, we all have this goal to get to the tournament and, you know, I think their RPIs is like 11. So we knew how important this game would be coming in. Um, and we, and we want to be, you know, fighting for the first place in the, in the conference. So, um, you know, they're they were 19 and three uh, before this game, and they don't lose much at home. You know what I mean? And uh, they had a hostile crowd. It was a great basketball environment. Um, you know, they jumped out us, jumped out on us early, and you know, we were expecting that. You know, we we may. But well, we weren't expecting, but, you know, we, we were talking about it in the locker room. Hey, you know, if we turn the ball over here or there, you know, don't get rattled and stay calm. And, um, you know, we did just that and kind of weathered the storm in the beginning. And, you know, then the game was up for grabs um, after that. So, you know, it was a great win. It feels awesome. And uh, just get, got to get ready for the next one. Uh, you know, that shot, I thought, I, I knew Smitty was going to pass me the ball on that. He, he was in the lane probing. And, you know, he's been hitting hit me with that pass out there in the wing for years. So I just tried to be ready, you know, to catch and shoot as soon as he gave it to me. And when I let it go, I was hot. It felt good, but you never know when it leaves your hands. So I was hoping, I was hoping that was, that was good. And it was, and I just gave the glory to God after that, so.